David Selznick was a publicity genius. I love you. He knew the search for Scarlet would be a grand entertainment. Even if I have to be rude. Are you criticizing my friends? Ashley, I could make you so happy. Anyway, Melanie can't. Well, Dr. Fontaine says that Melanie can't give you any more babies than I could. I can give you... You would forget that, dear 12. Well, I can't forget it. Can you forget it? Can you honestly say you don't love me? No, I don't love you. It's a lie. Even if it is a lie, do you think I could go off and leave Melanie and the baby? Break Melanie's heart? You couldn't leave your father and the girl. Oh, I could and... leave them. I'm sick of them. I'm tired of them. I know you're sick and tired. That's why you're talking this way. I'm going to help you out. I won't always be so awkward. There's only one way you can help me. Take me away. There's nothing to keep us here. Nothing. Except honor. Selznick, five. Quiet, speak. Oh, Ashley. I was wondering where you're keeping yourself. And to think of just running into you like this. You work for more gently, more quietly, more move. Oh, Ashley. I've been wondering where you're keeping yourself. And I think you're just running into you like this. You know, it seems so long since we've had a good talk together. I don't know. What's more, Paul? Your face is so hard. Is it? You relax now. Oh, Ashley. It seems such a long time since we've had a good talk together. I was wondering where you're keeping yourself. And I think you're just running into you. All right. And you want to show the back of the thing? Yes. You want to turn around, not turn around. Well, goodbye now. Uh, oh, I never fainted in my life. Wouldn't do you no harm if you did faint. If you want to catch your husband. I'll catch your husband. You put on the dress. What's my honey going to wear? That. No, me ain't. You ain't going to show your bosom for three o'clock in the afternoon. Come I sure am going to tell you more. Sounds like four. Yes. Quiet, speak. Speak. Why, Charles Hamilton, you handsome old thing, you. Did you think it was kind of you to bring this good-looking brother of yours down here to break our poor, simple country house? Listen, I want to eat barbecue with you, Charles Hamilton, so don't you go off land with any other girl, because I'm mighty jealous. You come here to me, Stu Tarleton, and you too, Brent. Didn't I promise you yesterday I'd eat barbecue with you? I sure never expected you'd be untrue to me. Anyway, India's so busy being hostess and all that, she won't have any time for any bows today. And Frank Kennedy. You know I've just been looking everywhere for you. You seem just like you since we've had a good talk together. Let's get away from this crowded old table and have barbecue together, shall we? Cut it fine. All right? Salesnick five. Oh, Ashley, I was wondering where you're keeping yourself. And to think of just running into you like this. You work for more gently, more quietly, more moves. Oh, Ashley, I've been wondering where you're keeping yourself. And to think of just running into you like this. You know, it seems so long since we've had a good talk together. I don't know. What's more, boy? Your face is so hard. Is it? You relax now. Oh, Ashley, it seems such a long time since we've had a good talk together. I was wondering where you're keeping yourself. I think you're just running into you. All right. And you want to show the back of the thing? Yes. You want to turn around, not turn around. Well, goodbye now. Yeah, you make fun of me, Miss you? No, I can't get around, Miss Reiner. <laughs> Don't knock her. She won the prize twice. All right, then.